from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook The Black-Eyed Kids by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample on the audiobooks page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Green Bay, Wisconsin has been named the drunkest city in America. Green Bay's number one ranking shows a two-spot jump from last year's drunk city list, surpassing former number one Appleton, Wisconsin, which fell to third place. In fact, the top four drunkest cities in America are all in Wisconsin, the others being Eau Claire at number two and Madison at number four. Man, Wisconsin really needs to find a hobby! British researchers have isolated what they call a hunger hormone that can make people so hungry they'll eat one-third more food than usual. Scientists have dubbed people who have the hormone Americans. Analysts say that if we keep making computers that think the way that we currently do, there will be a robot uprising. Although they do say you're relatively safe so long as your name isn't Sarah or John Connor. While we're on the subject, a poll has come out gauging public interest in likely future technological advancements. We are generally against the idea of altering the DNA of kids in the womb. We don't seem all that concerned about self-driving cars. But we're obviously worried about potential sci-fi movie scenarios, because 65% of us are against using robots to care for the sick and elderly, and 63% are against the use of drones in any way. Sadly, they did not ask the question about whether or not we're okay with hunter-killer Terminators, but I'm guessing we'd probably be against it. Cosmopolitan reports that 20% of women say technology makes it harder to communicate face-to-face. -face. Ironically, we learned this information via Facebook. Over the weekend, Anchorage police were asking the public to please stop calling 911 about a moose that gave birth to two calves near a Glen Highway overpass outside of Anchorage. Since the birth, police dispatchers have received more than 100 calls seeing the moose and calves in the area. Now the police department's asking people to stop tying up their emergency phone line for a non-emergency reason. Officials have also asked people to refrain from slamming on their brakes to stop and snap photos. This follows the flood of calls that happened last week with people reporting a flying squirrel wearing goggles. A recent study by the National Center on Addiction and Substance Abuse at Columbia University confirmed the positive impact of teens sharing meals with their families. The study tracked teenagers who ate dinner with their family two or fewer nights per week compared to those who had dinner with their family at least five times a week. Those teens in the former group were one and a half times as likely to drink alcohol two and a half times as likely to smoke cigarettes, and nearly three times as likely to try marijuana. Teens eating dinner at the table with their families were also five times more likely to know how to have a conversation without using a cell phone or using words like LOL. TV viewers in parts of New Jersey saw a warning flash across their screens one evening during primetime last week. The New Jersey Office of Emergency Management says a nuclear power plant warning was created as part of a training exercise. They add the message was intended for a small group of emergency management personnel who are participating in the exercise, and as a result of a coding error, the message was publicly broadcast. Hey, you know, with the current news today about North Korea and ISIS and all the hatred towards Trump, any message including the words nuclear and warning it's going to get your attention. In Taiwan, people are taking their pets to fortune tellers to find out what's in store for their furry friends. Dogs, cats, and even rabbits are being taken to their fortune tellers, with some people bringing pictures of their dead dogs to find out if their pet is having a good life in the afterlife. Heck, I can do that. Yeah, your pet's happy, it's in pet heaven. Now send me five bucks. In this case, F is for felony. The University of Central Florida student is facing a felony charge after allegedly hacking into the school system to change an F grade to a B. University police say an engineering professor became suspicious when he received an email from the school's electronic gradebook thanking him for approving an email from his grade roster several hours after approving his grades and getting the same email. The professor reviewed the grades and caught 22-year-old Sammy Adele Lamar's change. 
Amar eventually turned himself in and faces a felony charge of accessing a computer without authority. Okay, kids, you know, just because you saw it in the movie War Games, it doesn't mean it's legal. A new trend has some high school students getting their prom dates croissants – yeah, the French pastry – to wear on their wrist instead of the traditional floral corsage. The first photo evidence of this hilarious movement dates back on social media to 2015. Julia Gorman got a croissant corsage last year for her senior prom. I really don't like corsages, and I was talking to a friend about how I didn't want one, she told Today Style. He suggested that instead I opt for a croissant. So now you can tell your date she looks delicious and mean it. Four employees at an Ann Arbor, Michigan restaurant have been arrested at work by Immigrations and Customs Enforcement. The four were detained by officers who first ate breakfast at Sava's restaurant, then made the arrests. You're under arrest, but first, uh, could you warm up this coffee for me, please? NOAA is predicting an active hurricane season this year, with anywhere from 5 to 9 showing up this year. They expect Hurricane Hillary to blow a lot of air, but not do anything significant. Egypt has moved King Tut's bed and chariot to a new museum in Cairo. Uh, no word on whether he brought his jammies. Have you signed up for the Marler Sheet? It's free, and everyone who subscribes is automatically entered into monthly drawings for prizes. For May 2017, I'm giving away a Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirt and mug combo. You can sign up for the Marler Sheet free at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. You can find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!